Hi everybody! I thought it would be fun to do a quick screencast and show you one of the features of the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. And that feature is the sketch option. What it does is it converts regular images that you could normally just cut with your silhouette into sketchable designs. And so for the banner that I made today, I'm just showing how I made the little scalloped um, sketched centers of that. So um, real quick, here we have our scallop with our little shamrock. And in order to get the shamrock to the sketch, simply click it, come up here to this little sketch um, image up here, and that's the sketch window, and open that up. And now what you can do is you can change the different edge sketchings that they have. So that's just a plain sketch, and that's my favorite right there, the continuous. I think that one looks great. Um, here, let me zoom in a little bit for you. You can see the differences between them. So that one's just a little loose, just looks like you kind of sketched around a template in a loose manner. And then this scribble I think is darling too. It reminds me um, if you wanted to give the illusion like you had stitched something, I think that one will be really cute. And then we have the pen, which is just a little bit, the lines are a little bit closer together and more dense. And then a pencil, same thing, a little bit darker. And then the charcoal, which is even darker than that. So um, I mix and match on my banner, as you can clearly see. But today, right now, we'll just show the continuous. I really like that guy. So not only, you can leave it just like this. It's, I think it's super cute. Um, or you can also add a little filling to it. So here's the fill sketch options. And you have tons of little options here too that you can do. Charcoal, pencil, a zigzag, the scribble, um, a grill, diamond hatch, cross hatch, and then none. We're going to keep it on the cross hatch one though. I kind of like how that one looks for, for this guy. And so now you're wondering, okay, so how do I sketch and cut? It's really, really simple actually. We're going to sketch first. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our, our scalloped edge and we're going to go up here to the cut settings and we're going to choose no cut. So that just tells the software to pretty much ignore that little guy right here. And then we're going to come over to our cut page and we're going to come down and we're instead of choosing a blade, we're going to choose the sketch pen. And so then we're going to take the blade out of our out of our machine and put a sketch pen in, my green sketch pen I put in. And then I'm going to press cut. And instead of cutting, it's going to sketch. And then before I remove the mat from the the machine, I come back and I just do the exact opposite. Select the clover, come back up here to the cut file select no cut for this one this time. We're going to ignore the shamrock and we're going to focus on the scallop. And so we want to cut the edge of the scallop. We're going to come back over to the cut settings page and we're going to come here and select our media that we're going to use. Um, let's see. Patterned paper. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to remove it. Oh, when I did that when I clicked the pattern paper, it moved it back up to blade. So just make sure that you're set back on the blade setting from the sketch pen to the blade, and then you're going to cut. And what that's going to do is it's going to totally ignore the shamrock, and it's going to just cut your little scallop up. So there you have sketched it and cut it, and now you're ready to assemble your banner. So the options really are endless with this and with the sketch pens there's tons of different colors and I really love them. I, I use it when I make cards and um, banners and, and all sorts of things. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how easy that was to use and I hope you're excited and um, I hope you enter the giveaway because I'm pretty certain you will love your portrait.